Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Today is Wednesday, December the 22nd, 23rd, 23rd, day before Christmas Eve, y'all, the day before Christmas Eve. Um, when y'all watch this video, it'll be one day till Christmas, only one day, are y'all ready? I just got some more things wrapped up until I literally ran out of tape. I had one more little piece to put tape on it. That was the last piece of tape that I pulled out. So, Josh is going to the dollar store here in a few minutes. I need tape, I need bags, and uh, I think maybe one box. I don't know, I may be good on boxes. Everly's enjoying her car again today. Say beep beep. Can you do beep beep? Say beep beep, are you stuck? Say good morning. Little Miss is finishing my little sip of coffee over here. <laughs> Alright, so first thing is first. I am in the little kid's bathroom. I've got to get this bathroom cleaned up, y'all. I've got to get the counters cleaned off, the sink. I've started on the toilet over there. I need to finish cleaning it. So I got some cleaning I need to do in here. This is my first thing. I gave all of the girls a jurisdiction of an area I want them to clean today to help me get ready for Christmas. So I'm going to do the bathroom. Um, one of them is working on the living room and dining room. One of them is working on a bedroom and I have one that's going to help me get little kids dressed so they can go outside and play for a little while. So I'm going to get started on this bathroom. done and now it is lunch time it's after 12 already it's 12 17 so we're in here fixing lunch we actually just heated up some of those little uh like little chicken wrap taco things Allie and the little Allie and the little kids are outside riding the golf cart they'll be in here in just a minute to eat i'm gonna go ahead and fix everly's lunch and bethany because they're in here with me and i'm vlogging on my little camera again i'm excited it's so hard to vlog on my really big camera it's like one of the big dslr cameras um dlsr ds something whatever it's the big camera. So it's harder to hold because it's heavy. So Josh got my little camera fixed. He was able to put the screws back in and fix it. So I'm thankful for that. I'm vlogging on my little camera, which is a lot lighter to hold. Um, so yeah, we're gonna eat lunch. I'll show you what we're having for lunch. We're having these little chicken taquitos. They're actually really good. And I haven't bought them in a long time. Buddy, buddy. You want a plate? Are you hungry? All right, let's get you some food so you can take your nap, girlfriend. Okay, oh my, that bad glass. And I just I just cleaned those doors like three or four days ago. That is called toddler hands right there. Toddler hands. Mama, there's what? no punchy thing. I know, we have no granola. Do you want some just plain vanilla yogurt? All right, for the green beans today, I put a, I put a whole 32 ounce bottle of chicken broth in the pot. And so I like to do green beans and chicken broth uh, we usually do a lot of green beans we do two big cans and we usually have just a little bit left over we go folks once i get the green beans in there i'll just top it off with some water now go on with a little black pepper all right so our neighbor smoked us a ham i like to take one of those good if you got a ham if you cook a ham put you some of this back trim it off take some pieces that you're not going to eat stick some in the beans I know it's a little more effort, 
a little more time involved. But I am going to cook this onion like I did in the spaghetti. We'll cook it down a little bit, let it caramelize. All right, so I went off in the beans with the onions. And we are just gonna cook that on medium, medium high. We'll cover it and we're gonna let that cook down. All right, so I just wanna say real quick that I just got the best news ever today. It is like a Christmas gift to me. Um, so if y'all saw on my community tab several days ago, I told you that Allie had her dental surgery and while they were doing the surgery, they found a cyst. And um, well, they actually knew it was already there, but um, he ended up having to remove the whole thing and they sent it out for a biopsy. So since Thursday, we've been waiting for biopsy results. And that's kind of why I've been kind of slack on YouTube and um, you know, just all of that. Cause I've been kind of concerned and worried of course. Anyway, the doctor called me at three today to let me know not to worry anymore. The biopsy results were clear. Um, it was just a pocket of infection. So praise the Lord. I was so excited. I, I couldn't hold it back. I got teary eyed talking to him. And um, he's like, so I don't want you to worry. I want you to have a Merry Christmas. And I was like, yes, Merry Christmas to you too. I was so excited y'all. If you have children, you know like what it is to like worry about them and just pray that they're okay and all that. So bless you. Just so thankful that's like the best christmas gift ever and i'm so thankful that it i got the news before christmas came because i really didn't want to go through christmas eve and christmas day kind of wondering and not knowing so yes i'm just giving the lord thanks for that um but now it's dinner time around here well it's almost dinner time josh is taking care of the green beans i am going to make some homemade cheddar so what are they called homemade cheddar cheese biscuits or something like that um it's actually red lobster's recipe i used to make this years ago several times um, we love them. They are super good. So I'm going to make some of those to go with our ham tonight. I actually have all the ingredients on hand. So I'm going to make some biscuits. Okay, so starting off for the biscuits, I'm just going to take this bowl here and add two cups of flour. Uh, I need to take my dog, so I didn't have to lunch. Okay. And then I'm going to go with So one, two. All right, so in the same bowl, I'm going to go in with one cup of uh, shredded cheddar cheese. I'm just using this mild cheddar here. Next is a one tablespoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, and it also calls for garlic powder. Um, but I'm actually, I cannot find the garlic powder anywhere. So I'm, not, I'm gonna have to leave that ingredient out. So I'm just gonna toss all that together real quick. All right, so in this bowl, it's gonna be two thirds of milk, two thirds of a cup. All right, next you want one third cup of butter. So we're gonna mix this up together and then after it's all mixed up, we're gonna take it and pour it into our flour mixture. All right, so I got my flour mixture here. I'm gonna take my milk and egg and butter mixture and pour it in here. Stir the two up, but you would want, you wanna mix it, but you don't wanna mix it to where it's like too, um, you don't wanna over mix the batter because you want it to be able to go onto the pan in spoonfuls. Y'all, one year I made these biscuits and somehow, I don't know what I messed up, but they were so bitter and like it was, it almost tastes like you were eating pure flour. They were terrible. I still haven't figured out like what I messed up in those biscuits. <laughs> All right, so it's mixed up in there. It's, it's perfect. It's gonna make like clump, uh, I can spoon it into clumps on the pan. All right, so I got my pan sprayed here. I'm just gonna put it out. Now I'm just gonna put it in the pan in spoonfuls. stick it in a preheated oven at 400 degrees and they're only going to bake in there for about 10 minutes yeah they're going to bake in there for 10 minutes i'm going to take them out um you take a you brush a little bit of melted butter on it stick it back in there for about five more minutes and they're done and they are absolutely delicious if you've ever had red lobsters cheesy biscuits they do compare they are so good callie made some homemade muffins and they're chocolate chip muffins and you talk about good. They're good, ain't they, mama? Hey, 
everything is cleaned up for the most part. The girls are having one of Kylie's homemade chocolate banana muffins for dessert. I wanted to show y'all real quick. Um, I told you before that my mom and dad gave everybody money for Christmas to pick out whatever they wanted. And I've had my money sitting for like a week now. I couldn't decide what I wanted. Um, I had several different options, but I was like, I don't know. I really don't know. So I finally made my decision. I ordered it last night. I have this um, traveler's notebook by Planner Perfect. I've had it for over a year now. Let's see, yeah. February be two years I've had this planner, I think. Actually, no, I'm wrong. I had, I've, February will be one year since I had this planner. And I absolutely love it. It's one of the um, like traveler notebook planners. And I've just got the slim, the narrow one. Um, but anyway, I haven't had any inserts since March. Um, I like to keep I like to keep um, the months in here and like the year at a glance all I have is my one journal and in this journal right here I just keep like special things in it like uh, I have scriptures I have written down the girls all the girls birth dates their weight the time they were born just any kind of memories that I want to keep up with um, and I'm just going to continue to use this for special notes so I have a space for three more. So what I did is I ordered me the February and March planner as well as the year of the year at a glance for 2021. Here is a little bit better look at my planner that I was just talking about. Um, so it has the strap that you can keep it closed and then here is like a little pin loop where you can put your pen. Um, and then it's got some pockets over here. It has this pocket. I just have stamps and stickers in there and then a bigger pocket that you could put whatever and then it has these it has comes with four straps so you could put four inserts in it four journals whatever um so yeah that's my special one i was telling you about and then i can add three more here and it's um it smells amazing y'all it just smells so amazing but it is by planner perfect so it takes them like two weeks to get it to you but i'm excited to get it i didn't order january because i figured it'd be mid-january before i even got them and um yeah i didn't want to kind of waste half of a month so i just started fresh with february and that's what i decided to do with my christmas money is planner stuff y'all are you surprised i love planner stuff i love it love it love it so that's my own kind of like personal planner um i do want to um get some washi tape and stuff like that and make it cute i love doing stuff like that um but we're gonna get things cleaned up my mom and dad and sister and nephews and grandma and aunt is all coming tomorrow at 12 30 for lunch with us i'm gonna do ham and cheese sliders and some different things so i'm excited to see them tomorrow and do christmas with them um we told the girls that maybe tomorrow night on christmas eve we'll let them open their stockings instead of christmas day so we may do that we'll see and i think that's going to be it for today's vlog y'all i thank y'all so much for watching be sure to hit that subscribe button down below give it a thumbs up and i will talk to you on the comments bye